Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe Show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day and welcome back to the Valder BB Show. I've got my next guest on the roster. I've got two, two incredible people. I've got Tanisha Long and I've got Felicia May. Now, you know Tanisha as one of the series stars of Bigger. And Felicia, hey, she's the girl in charge on it. She's the creator and executive producer and showrunner, they told me. Ladies, welcome to the Valder BB Show. Thank you. All right. Uh, I'm going to start with you, Felicia. Who is the core audience of Bigger and why does it resonate with them? The core audience are millennials, um, particularly black millennials, but, um, but any millennial should be able to relate to this. And that's sort of the feedback we're getting. And uh, we, fi- we found that just people relate to the realness, the real situations, um, we don't shy away from any conversation, from any um, topic um, that, you know, actually we lean into topics that are sort of edgier. Um, this is morning, so I won't get to. <laughs> I was just about to get a little more detail than necessary. You got to watch to see what kind of edge I mean. But I think people um, relate to the to the fun and, and friendships in Bigger. Um, if they feel familiar, these are five friends who went to college together and who are still friends in their mid thirties. And then people relate to that struggle in your mid thirties where you thought you've done everything right in your twenties. And then you look up and you may not be satisfied with where you are. And so I think people um, are sort of digging that piece of bigger, which is the premise of it. One more question on that. How do you know to get your hand on the pulse of how these young people are feeling? Are you this age or do you have kids this age or you just depend on the writers? Well, for me, I just sort of went to the point in my life where I was facing that um, same question of, is there something bigger and better in life or is this it? Um, The life that I had set up by my mid thirties. So I sort of took my own experience. Um, For me during my mid thirties, that was a time where I was like climbing the corporate uh, ladder and then got to the top and looked down and was like, I don't care. I don't want to be up here. And so that is what sort of sparked my um, pursuit of writing as a career, as a second career um, and a second act to my life. And so the premise of the show was sort of based on that. Um, it came from that period of my life because uh, in writing, I believe that if you feel it, millions feel it. If you've thought it, millions have thought it. So just be true to yourself in your writing. Well, Bigger is really true to that millennial age group. Tanisha, I'm going to ask you, your character is 30-something. How do you relate to the situations that are presented to your character? Um, I relate to Lena Tun. She's in this transitional period in her career where she's kind of risking it all on this new store. I have been kind of risking it all on my acting career because I didn't go to school for acting. I actually was in school for marketing, fashion merchandising to be exact and dropped out, became an actor in my twenties. Like, I don't know why. And now I love it, but I definitely was at a place when I booked this that I was like, should I be acting? Is this right? Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? So it was really interesting to read this and just kind of understand her feelings. And also a lot of my friends are doing the same thing, especially people that are in the creative industry. You hit your mid thirties and if you're not rich and don't own a house and still have like that college debt, it's like, should I be doing this? Am I crazy? And that's definitely where she is. Felicia, just to wrap up with you, Bigger is executive produced by Will Packer and you. Now, having this level of power, are you considered a power broker in Hollywood or just a power broker in black Hollywood? And what's the difference in the Hollywoods? Well, interestingly enough, I would love to call myself a power broker, but that feel weird. Um, so I'm not going to do that <laughs> to, because I, I mean, I don't see it as power. I just see it as the oppor- as opportunity, as opportunity to tell my stories. Um, and I'm glad that Will gave me the opportunity hiring me for this project um, when he was talking to BET about coming up with sort of a living single type show. 
um, I was the one who won that project and um, I feel very blessed about that. But um, I think that we're lucky enough right now um, in Hollywood that, um, you know, as the, the world gets more mu multicultural, we're seeing more evidence that the more multicultural uh, TV and movies are, the more money they make, you know? And so that, that sort of bottom line is kind of trickling down, not probably fast enough, but it's affecting what's being, you know, the content we're seeing, we're seeing more diverse content. We could do better, but we're seeing more diverse, diverse content. And I think people are just tired of seeing the same faces and the same stories. And so in that, I, I don't feel an extreme um, line between like black Hollywood and Hollywood, just because I feel like people are thirsty. They are at home because of COVID, they're thirsty for content. And so I think this is a time where people can dip into other people's worlds, um, even if it's not their own cultural background. Um, and that's gonna help there not be these hard lines where you only white, write the black thing. So I'm lucky to be in this industry at this time, because I think 10 years ago, 15 years ago, that wouldn't have been the case. Very well said. I'm going to wrap up with you, Tanisha. When does Bigger return to broadcasting uh, new episodes on BET? So this Thursday, Bigger will be launching all 10 episodes of season two on the BET Plus app. So please check that out and talk to us about it after you watch it. Ladies, thank you so much for being my guest on the Valder BB Show. Much love and much success in the endeavors that you're involved in. Thank you for being here. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.